Are you spending enough time doing the right things to build your business? This is something that I've seen so often over the years, having coached so many people, is that many of you I've noticed are not spending enough time doing the helpful things to grow your business, and yet you are spending too much time doing other things like watching my videos. No, I hope you do watch my videos, but, but a lot of us, here, here's, the, here's the problem, right? Is that a lot of us who, that are heart-based, that are more visionary, it's so easy for us to so-called go with the flow. And what go with the flow means for us, if we're not careful, is that we're, we will do whatever is hypnotic. Let me say that again. We tend to get sucked into doing whatever is hypnotic rather than whatever is strategic and purposeful. What's hypnotic is surfing social media, seeing that George Cow is live and now you're watching it. Thank you for joining me, by the way. Um, or, you know, taking care of other people's problems, other people's requests, looking at email, uh, feeling busy all day, right? Like, where did my time go? Here's where your time went. Your time went to doing hypnotic things because online media is very hypnotic. Other people's needs and uh, uh, requests of your time is very hypnotic. And so you have to break from the hypnosis of everything else and come back to what is purposeful and strategic use of my time. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers. I have an article that goes more in depth into this. If you're interested, you can just Google my name, George Cow Business Time. You try it out. George Cow Business Time. If you Google that, you'll find my article. So, But let me give you a couple pointers. So number one, are you creating and publishing content consistently? Now, why is this so important? Because I see marketing not primarily as, oh, I got to get more clients. I got to make more money. Those things naturally happen if you do marketing that is authentic, that is consistent. Those things naturally happen, okay? But you got to be consistent with creating and putting out content. Why is that? Think about marketing as a creativity practice. I'll say that again. Marketing is a creativity practice. Creativity practice, just like if you want to have a healthy body, you have to have an exercise practice or a healthy eating practice. If you want to have a healthy business, you have to have a, the create. You have to see marketing as a creativity practice. It's not a chore to try to get more clients. I gotta do this. No, I'm doing marketing as a way to explore my thoughts, to 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 share what has been helpful for me and for other people. It's it's a it's also a service, a ministry. I see marketing as a as a creativity practice and a ministry. So if you do that consistently you will tend to get clients. Okay, so number one is consistent content. Number two is paid distribution of your content. Did you think that you could grow a business without using paid advertising? I honestly think that is not realistic, especially these days. Yes, you can use all the other organic methods, non-paid methods to try to supplement a little bit, talk to your network, try to get them to refer clients to you, but eventually you're going to run out of, of client inquiries. And then you're going to wish you had been doing paid advertising the whole time. How much do you, should you spend? $30 a month. Three zero. You can afford that. If you're wanting to have a business, you should expect to spend at least $30 a month on paid advertising. And the paid ads are simply to get your content out to more people. You will notice when you see my ads on Instagram and on Facebook, most of the ads, if, if depend, I also have ads that are sharing my, my next course or whatever, but most of my ad dollars are actually spent getting my videos or my posts out to more people. So paid ads, that's the second thing. The third thing is audience research. Okay, Are you talking to your audience about what they are buying that's related to what you could sell? Because the simplest way to make sure you have enough clients, keep pay attention here, the simplest way to make sure you have enough clients and a growing list of inquiries is to sell what people want. 
It's so easy to have clients when you sell what people want. Well, how do you know what people want? You have to talk to them, find out what they're buying. That tells you what they want. That what, what they want is to see where their money is going. And also take some surveys of, okay, I could sell, I could offer these three things. Which one would you like? Okay, so paid audience, uh, sorry, audience research is not paid. You just talk to your uh, audience, uh, message them, and see if they'd be willing to, to answer a few questions for you. Um, the next one that's really helpful is, and I'm going to end here, a, a rhythm of gentle launches. No matter if you have an audience or if you just have some friends, we, as your audience and your friends, we don't remember what you do until we see your offer on social media and then we remember it for like three hours if we're lucky if you're lucky we'll remember it for 24 hours or 48 hours but really how often do you let your audience know this is the service I provide I really enjoy providing it this is who it's really for I, I have openings for clients how often do you let people know I hope you let people know at least once a month at least two posts on social media a month at least one email to your ear subscribers a month specifically about what you offer so a rhythm of gentle launches a launch is simply two social media posts and one email that's it so can you do that once a month i think you can so i hope this is helpful if you want to learn more google george cow business time you can read my blog post going in depth into this uh, and I look for, as, as always, if you have any questions or comments below. I'm George Cow, Authentic Business Coach, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for joining me.